and then some passages from Philippians in the New Testament based on that gladness and joy. And then I made a point, this is really an application of that. Happy marriages and strong churches are not built upon pessimism. Mm. Happy churches, happy marriages and strong churches are not built upon pessimism. Now, I'm not an advocate for positive only preaching. I don't think you're scriptural if you only preach positive sermons. You're not preaching the whole counsel of God. And God's prophets and preachers have always dealt with reality, and that includes sin and things that we need to correct. But I will say that in a local work, you cannot build a good congregation if all you ever talk about are the problems in the brotherhood, the false teachings that are going on. Do we need to cover those? Yes, we need to. We need to fortify our people. We need to deal with whatever comes up that is a threat to their faith and to their uh, the hope of salvation. But I'm not going to get up there every Sunday and talk about, you know, well, this is what some brother over in Texas is saying now. Well, you, you're a long way from Texas, you know, or this is what some guy up in Cal over in California is teaching. Well, I know we live in the time of the internet and things spread, but um, we have to be balanced and we have to give people some hope, give them some joy. And uh, you could build a strong church on optimism, faith, but not on pessimism. Now, let's, let's do this sermon called The Lord Lifts 